Blowing across Nigeria is the wind of hope as Africa's young entrepreneurs with the same dream take a break from their everyday lives and embark on a journey across the nation with their ideas, innovations, and inventions from the east, west, north, and south of Nigeria. We will witness as they make their way through the screening and auditioning to meet and convince the AYE judges why they should be among the chosen beneficiaries. You can't come and speak to a panel of investors and say there's a whole lot of choices. You need to be as strong as you are technically with what you want. No, 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 I'm coming. This is new idea and new business. But it, you don't really have a very strong structure of how you see your vision practically moving forward. You know, you know it feels very loose to me. I think you should have sat with them before you come here. If you invest in that business today, you're not coming into to make mistakes. We will experience their passion. So I want to feed African as a nation. Their pain. Get out of here. And their gain. Hey, why you give you a lot of customers. You cater for them, I will give you money up front. You'll be able to buy all your equipment. AYE has empowered thousands of entrepreneurs. It all starts with an ingenious speech from this great theater. An entrepreneur's journey to greater success might begin today. Welcome to another episode of Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Reality TV Show, AYE. My name is Joy Michael. There is nothing I'm expecting in particular because I am here, I'm fully prepared to do my presentations. After all, I know that what I am going to present there is what I am doing. First on today's episode is Chidema Favo, an entrepreneur who runs an automobile lubricant production company. Her mission on the AYE show is to secure a 150 million Naira loan to expand her production capacity. My name is Mrs. Obia number Favor Shidima, the co-owner and managing director of Prince Ben Quarter Ventures Limited, which was registered as a business liability company in the year 2009, but commenced operation in the year 2012 into the manufacturing of automobile lubricants and products such as engine oil, ATF, car wash, coolant, and grease. And what I am looking from you is a loan that can be that can enable me to expand my production capacity in order to meet with the demands of my customers. Urbanization and a growing middle class with increasing disposable income in Nigeria is creating an automotive market that will be worth $683 million by 2023, one of the largest in Africa. Automotive lubricants are one of the fast-moving consumer goods in any given part of the world, especially in Nigeria, whose motorization rate is 8.5% per annum. The industry has attracted major participants like ExxonMobil, Royal Dutch Shell, Chevron, Total, and British Petroleum, amongst others. So for 150 million Naira, um I'm taking it for granted you have a contract in place to, sure, co sir. to cover this loan. Do you yes, already sir. have a contract? Yes, sir. All right, tell me about the contract. Um, as you can see, this is automobile uh, I products. See. I have some companies, as in all these uh, construction companies, that normally used to give me an order for the ATF and the oil. Mm -hmm. That they're using in their uh, the machineries that are using to produce, like uh, 150, uh, they're ordering for SAE 40, and their demand is really high. That sometimes I don't meet up with, as I don't meet up supplying what they ordered from me. And I got in contact with the proc uh, procurement manager of the AGIP at Ebe Mapota Court. They want me to be supplying them my SAE 40 and that of Greece as well. But I've not accepted the contract because looking at what I have now, I know that I'll mess myself up there, considering that I don't have the needed machineries that will help me to produce more. 
in order to meet with their demand and also the working capital. I'm impressed with you. I couldn't even hold it back. These are your products? Yes, sir. How many since when have you been producing? Since 2000, 2012, sir. What's your turnover last year? My turnover last year is about 250 million, sir. 250 million? Yes, sir. In record? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. So, but uh, how many people in Anambra? Do you only supply Anambra or you supply No, sir. My product is nationwide. My product is even here in Lagos at uh, Aspanda. How many distributors do you have currently? Currently? Who many? At least. Um, at Orere, I have two. At Aba, I have one. At Abuja, I have two. Many places, sir. Not just. How do you sell in Anambra? Uh, we are the supply. Uh, we supply to shops, as in they will give us an order. And I also have marketers who is going to meet with the customers. To so know. you just need this one fifty million naira to increase your production line. Yes, I need to procure uh, machineries and the equipment that. I'll I'll be using to produce. Okay, last year that you had a turnover of 250 million. 250 million. How much was your profit? The profit, um, the profit is about uh, 50 to 70 million naira, sir. Okay, 50 to 70 million naira. Yes. Now your profit, have you been spending it back into the business, or you've been using it to acquire assets? Like before, uh, when I started, it was in a rented apartment. But today, I am producing in my own factory site and I've been able to uh, uh, make my own modes. As you can see, this is my modes. And when I started, it was purely manual, but today at least I have some missionaries. The judges are clearly impressed with Chidema, her products and her work. Now it's time to talk numbers. What are you going to offer an investor if they choose to invest with you? Um, to partner with you. If, if, they were, if someone wanted to what partner with you. What I can offer? Yes, in terms, of, uh, in terms of interest or equity. I think I'm going for, to, for the interest. So how much interest? Hey. Sir, you know that in this business, I am not the only one, though I am the co-owner, but I have some other directors. It's not something that I can just um, sell hey, my... Hey, but they can't give I you money. So if you need this 150 million, how much interest are you willing to offer the investor? Mm, I can be able to offer like... 3%, sir. Do you know if, if this 150 million are for an investor, if, if an investor puts this money, in, in, in treasury bill, will get about 13% per annum. So why will the investor give you the 150 million naira for 3%? Why this 150 so million naira can go into... So it's, it's too much risk. Sir, but uh, you know that what I am looking at is um, considering the terms and the interest rate of the um, BOI... BOI I, is government. This is... Well, if you want government, you won't be here. These are private investors. Your business is good. Your business, I mean, yeah, I quite understand. But at the same time, this amount that you're asking for, and you, I, I mean, and you want to give three percent, no investor will do that. Sir, but please, can you give me time to discuss with the board of the directors and favor? Sir, may you find favor with your other business partners? Sure. Go back to them and go and find out exactly what they are willing to offer an investor. And how do I get back to you, sir? Being a female entrepreneur, you are already attracting enough investors on this platform. And your product already is attracting attention. You know the right way to get back to us. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Chidema indeed found favor with the judges. Now she has to get her business partners to reach an agreement on possible investment opportunities. Oh, it was great. It was impressive. Is, is, I didn't even expect the kind of in, 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 in the impression that I got from them. So I'm happy. My name is Bridget Ibubedike. And I am Gideon Ibubedike. We run a family business, a farming business that our parents started some years back. And uh, we've been looking for a way, you know, to push the business to the next level. 
and I came across IM through an online platform. Initially, I was saying, can this be real? I mean, people actually get funds, as in grants, to just support their business and to grow it. So I spoke to my brother about it and said, okay, let's give it a trial. And, you know, I applied. We started, you know, from the first screening we did and then moved to the next level. It was for me, I just, <laughs> it's a privilege, honestly. I... Yes, it's a privilege because, <laughs> because we are prepared, okay? We, we, we are not just, we are not just like um, something we put up together and we are doing it. But this, this has been our work, this has been our sweat, this has been what we've been doing, okay? Since, since, we, left, since we left school. Wow, it's 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 really I, 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 I was overwhelmed, yeah. honestly. I was because there are thousand and one people that applied. Honestly, for me, it's it's a privilege. Like I said, I was I was just overwhelmed. That's the word I'm going to use. It's amazing. You, you know, you, you, you actually you sent me a text first. <laughs> I was busy at the farm site. Yes. You sent me a text, and when I and then I got text, a text you know, from you, you, you now called me. Like, you got a call. I said, are, are you sure? Are, are you sure? <laughs> he was only doubting me. Are you sure? When you said it was true, I said, let me see what you're talking about. You know, I said, and I saw it, I saw it the second time. I said, this is real. No, I, I was so happy. I was, I was so, I was so, I was so ecstatic about it. And I was, I was so jubilant. And I, I couldn't sleep that night. I was so happy all for it. And, 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 and I'm happy this, this is happening to us at such a time as this. The impact has been that your originality counts. Don't, don't come and tell stories. Don't come and watch stories. Tell what you do. Right? They actually go in depth. They, they, they the in questions depth. we are direct. They want to know what you actually if you know what you're doing, and that is the fact. And when the media guys came to cover the farm, do you know they knew where they were coming? The, 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 the strategy was 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 really good. It was like, okay, come, I want to come see what you do at the farm. I want to come learn from you. I just want to go from a random guy like that and say, okay, you want to come see my farm? Okay, I just give the person the address and say, okay, I see somebody said it's me. I called you. He said, let the person come. Uh, but they didn't tell me they were coming from my end. They were coming. All of a sudden, I just said, wow. <laughs> like, like, I was free. They came up and I, I, the, the whole thing was, was surprising to me. But I said, okay, fine, I'm good. Come into the farm. I led them to the farm. I showed them and the shed. Well, I showed them the, the, this expanse of hectares of land. They, they, they were surprised too. They were, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were satisfied with what they see. And they, they saw me actually cultivating the farm. They saw me cutting, cutting the vegetable, tying them in bunches and keeping them free. just, just really, just as if I was doing my normal daily, daily job, which was actually what I came to, to the farm to do. But since then, the festival was coming. I said, come, come and see what I'm doing. So they were real. That's the word. They were real. They were original. They were in depth. They knew what they wanted to see from us. It, 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 it's 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 mind blowing. I was talking to my sister when when she's still. All of a sudden, she just picked up her phone and team beat. She she didn't even know that I've seen it. I just stepped off my chair. I stood behind her. She now showed it to me. I was all all. I jumped all off. I was like, this is real. And, and, and I said, this this is real. This, this is. I and I, I I I God bless you, honestly. My heart and my mind goes out to you. Well, we won't you. fail again. We won't we fail again. We will blow the trophy anywhere we go to. We will blow your trophy and we will raise your flag and we will be there for you in the Big ups to you. Great, great vision, honestly. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, I We are very grateful. Thank you. We protected our brands and we did our family. Thank you. Thank you. African Young Entrepreneurs. In my view, this is one of the most innovative ideas coming out of Africa because it addresses perhaps the most crucial issue in African economic development, which is how to leverage on knowledge, creativity and innovation to leapfrog ahead or at least to be at par with many of the developed economies within the shortest possible time. The evidence shows that the dramatic Asian economic turnaround of the last two decades was a result of entrepreneurial innovation and creativity within an incrementally conducive business environment. So the role of government and its regulatory agencies is also important, especially in ensuring ease of doing business and providing incentives for entrepreneurial activity. The Nigerian government is committed to playing this role actively 
And this is why we fully identify with and encourage AYA's objectives. My name is Bosse Foncho. I founder of KF Place, Kano State. Sometimes back in 2011, we had a fire incident in the house that affected my daughter. She was about four years old then. When the fire happened, she wasn't seeing, she wasn't talking, she wasn't hearing, and she wasn't moving. Presently, she's still on a wheelchair, but the other senses are back. She talks, she fast, she's a friendly child, very lovable. It was not easy you because even in the hospital then we were told she was never going to be a normal child again that her case was hopeless the ideas now came up for me as in you will not give up on this girl like this so i don't you have a place that you can it's enough big enough you do your events that and because i derive joy in doing parties i don't know it's just something like if I, they call me fun show fun and show so i said okay then then at the same time i'm taking care of this girl which so far so good. I started last year, January. It's been encouraging. And it's really been cap capital intensive, which was why I had to start looking out for who was going to key into my business, fund it, and at least make it more accessible to people. We also have equine therapy that we do, we do there. We bring in a horse weekly, which has also helped in our growth. Because initially, when they were bringing in the horse to us, she, somebody had to sit with her to support her, but on, on her own, she sits on the horse now, which definitely we achieved a milestone there too. So, which definitely was the reason why I started looking for who would key into my business for me. So people come around, why have you tried this place? Have you tried this place? I came up and I said, okay, so fine, but let me apply. If I get a partner to invest into this business for me, as it is right now, but I'll be the happiest woman being on earth because I believe in it and I'm working seriously to prove to people that this can be done. Aisha Folonsho is an event planner who runs a rehabilitation center in Kano State. She caters to the educational needs of physically challenged children. To further improve the quality of her center, she needs a grant of 10 million naira. I already have certain things in place like in the center, so I have a physiotherapy section. I have um, the study section too. We use computer to make learning interesting. So, but I want to introduce Montessori method of learning because I believe that will really get them more interested in wanting to study, especially considering their condition. And you know, we have to go at their pace, make them really interested in what they have to learn. I just have this idea of them having fun, having, um, getting excited anytime they know that they are coming over to my center. And like I said, it's about force of this kind in Kano for everything I've put in place. Like we also have um, therapies, like um, equine therapy that we do every Wednesdays. They bring in the horse, which is also good for cognitive responses on the kids, especially the ones that have brain injuries. So they come, they, which I, that even gives them so much excitement. So I know I need um, um, money to equip the place more. I intend to have a musical therapy too. Education is an important part of determining a person's status in life. Despite the billions poured into schools, not everyone has access to education. Children with disability find it difficult to keep at pace with the learning process of other children. However, they too have the right to live a full life. Inclusive schooling is what ensures equality and education for all. And for this to be successfully implemented in Nigeria, parents, the community, and the government must be prepared to invest substantial resources in system reforms. Well, How many students do you have? Now there are about five. There are about five now. And the place you currently use, do you own the place? No, no, it's on rentage. So people that bring their uh, their kids, do they pay? Yes, they pay. I I told them, I said, it's not something I can do. Even though I want it to be as minimal as possible, so that it won't discourage parents from bringing out. Because we, down there, like I said, they don't even believe in those kids alive. They just want them dead, if it's possible. So they are always indoors with somebody just to maybe a nanny or something to take care of them. So I'm trying to give a face to make them understand that, see, this does not make these children um, any less. 
And it's not even a disease that you have a child with special needs. When I take my cat, my daughter out on that wheelchair to shop right to, you know, outings, birthdays, they're like, ah, you're trying, you know. You mean you can't leave this girl? I said, for what for? Because of what? Aisha's story is quite emotional and her work with special children is very commendable. But the question is, what exactly is the business? This is an entrepreneurial organization, so we need to know what is the income, you know, what do you need, what is your growth projection, and how can we help, okay? Yeah, well, they pay, they pay, they make payments. Parents how much pay. do you need now? Um, I, 10 million. 10 million, I need it for the, uh, because I also do events. Events was my business before the fire. So actually, the fire ruined down my business for me. So why I have a place like, I still have spaces that we can be having our events, which can also even fund the school. So, but the parents pay. Parents pay for- Do you have partners? 150, sorry? Do you have partners now? No, no, not, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But parents pay. So the money is just for me to finish flooring. There's a, an outdoor in the place. I want to floor and roof the place so that I can also be making some, I'm sure, a lot of money because events is the in thing now in, Everywhere you give them you vocational, go. do you train them on board? Yes, we train too. Skills. We train, we train. We have training institutes in the place too. For vocational for, skills for them? For vocational skills for them, yes. Occupational therapy. Um, so it's that. I just want to ask a really hard question. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you a really hard question. If you were to get funding to open an events company, could the events company not fund the school? All the changes that you need? I didn't get that, sorry. You are giving funding now for your events company. Can your events company fund your yes, NGO yes, or whatever? Yes, yes, because I have mostly all the things I even need, I have them. If I am going to buy anything, I just maybe to improve on what I have when on ground. When you hear about an events company, basically, if it's about business, you need to talk about the events company, which will then fund your school, which is an NGO in a sense, you know even though you charge fees. The question now is, what is the business? Your school or your events company? There seems to be a twist in Aisha's pitch. Is she here for an events company or for a rehabilitation center? It's entwined, it's, the same, it's in the same place. Yes, another case. It's yeah, in the, the same school place. doesn't make money, right? The school is making money, they're paying. But do they make, yeah, they might so, pay, but doesn't it cost you? It's also? not, yes, it's not much. The school is making so money. I'm going to ask the hard question again. You want the school to run. Can, can, we, can we say that the events company is going to bring in the most money? Is that yes. right? Yes. So now you need to tell us how you're going to get that done. You've got a little bit of time left just to tell us how you're going to make money with the events company. Were you successful before the fire? Does everybody know you? What do you need? Yes, well, by in Kano, at least I'm one of the people that makes events happen. I started with children's party, and so everybody, I basically have everything for you to have a standard party. The equipment, I have them. So all I just wanted was to, be, to floor my place, so people can be renting the place. They pay for... So, so what do you need for, for the events company? Not 10 million, because that's for everything. So what do you need for your events company right now? Um, 10 million, I said. Yeah, but that was for the school, you want to do this, that. What do you need for the events company right now? For the events company, it's the flooring, I, did, I just need the venue you to be... You have an event centre? Yes. Like, is that what you're talking about now? Yes. You have an event centre? Yes. It, so, no, it so by the time you finish the flooring, flooring I will be how much will you rent it out? 250 and above. And how much do you need for the flooring? Okay, for the flooring and the roofing, it's going to cost about maybe, I think, about four million. So when you have your your when you have your roofing and your flooring, you can rent it out for two uh, two hundred and fifty thousand. Like is that per weekend or per use? Per per use, as in five Aisha, four, six times in a week. I need to speak to Honey privately. Please give us a moment. As Aisha's speech takes a new turn, one of our judges has a different opinion on her business. I feel for her. For, the, for what happened to her daughter. But the truth is I'm not convinced. I feel a bit irritated that the concept of a special needs school is the front of what really she wants to do, which is an event center. And I'm a bit confused as to 
how is she renting the event center and flooring it if she's renting it? I, I wasn't sure if she owned the property and she needs to floor it, or if it's the same compound and she's renting the school, how are you flooring? So I guess the landlord is allowing her to floor the place in which she rents. She's very emotionally motivated and she really doesn't care where the money comes from as long as she gets the school for her kid. And so she's saying, well, I can get a bit here and I can get a bit here and then we can survive and thrive. So I kind of get why she's not being one or the other because her child is her motivator and then her, she's seeing that her better income is from what she used to do. So she wants to somehow do the two. You know, I get it. And I just need some more clarity. Maybe you guys can help me. The school and the event center is in the same location. We're not yeah. clear. No, she and said she, that. Yeah. Clear. Okay. Said that. Yes, right. And she rents. No problem. So the 10 million is for what exactly? Somebody else's property. It's, so, it's not her property. So 10, so, yes, 10 million, she wants to set up a music therapy center. She wants a whole lot of equipment. So she wants this brilliant center for the kids, and then she wants to have an <coughs> event company to make money. Yeah. I'm, I'm in for supporting her for her event company. Me too. Um, ju just because the school's not the business and we're the business guys. So I I'm in, but... Investing uh, on, on another month's land, it's not a wise thing to do. It's never a wise thing to do. Let's bring her in. Aisha, yes. let's do this quickly. Ten million you're asking for. What kind of money is it? What kind of fund? Are you it was a grant I applied for. A grant? Yes. Sir. You don't want to pay back. You don't want an investor. No, if I if I have to pay back, I don't mind. So anything to just help my business grow. Are you looking for a partner, investor, or what? I as as it is now, I just want my business to grow. So even if it's a partner, is a loan, whatever. Let my business just speak up. That's yeah, what I'm after. Yeah, so I use the perfect word for you. You're so driven by the emotions. And everything you... And it's scary. It See, can happen to anybody. For, um, for my own side, personally, I'm speaking for myself now. We've, I've, we've, I've, we've grown from investing in emotions. Because we've made a lot of mistakes. So it's, it's extremely scary. But that has moved a lot of... George is here, and a story I can assure you has moved a lot of Africans who might be interested in investing and hoping to see your business go to uh, uh, come forward. But one important thing they would like to know, which some of us also wanted clarity on here, is this property, is it a long-term lease or what? Yes. How long is this lease? Five years for now. It's not long enough. Do you think it's... I just started last year. How many years have you? Okay, you just started just last year. Just last year. Last year. I'm hoping to... How much is the five years? They allowed me, you know. Hey, but how much is the total? Eight, eight million. Eight million for five years, lease. and you want to? You know, how much is that? No, that this thing, property is on how many plot of uh, land? Four. Four plots. Mm -hmm. How much uh, in that area? How much is the plot? I, I never asked. I don't have an idea. I don't have an idea. Oh, houses are sold for like 60, 70 million there. Eh? Which area know. is this? Yeah. Nasarawa, Kano, Kano. Nasarawa, Nasarawa GRA. Kano State. Yes. Oh, Nasarawa is not a state? No, no. Kano State, but Nasarawa GRA. Kano State. It's a GRA. So the good thing about her is that she already has a property, Tamara. She's in Kano State. And she said there is no school like that. No, no. Not and she said with she's what the facilities I events, have on ground. Uh, um, um, event management or what? Yes. Yeah, event planning and stuff yes. like that. Event on that note, I'm sure that there are some investors can, that, that can be moved towards investing in you. Like this. They will contact you should we get anybody interested in doing it. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. For Thank you, sir. And Aisha leaves with the possibility of having an investor for her special needs school and event center business. 
what I learned is that there's no free money anywhere again. So it's either you're working for the money you're getting or you're borrowing to pay back or something. So that's at least in my own business now, I know how to undo my cash too. It's that time of year where thousands of entrepreneurs gather for one single convention. Africa's Young Entrepreneurs Empowerment Nigeria Iron Annual Convention is here again. Keynote speakers include Patrick Malumba of Kenya, Billy Silakani of South Africa, and of course, Volung Shaw Alakija of Nigeria. To register, visit www.in.ng. Iron 2018 Convention, Entrepreneurial Influence in Economic Development. Starting and running a business can be quite hectic, especially when it comes to business registrations, business plans, brand activations, market research, filling annual reports, marketing and advertising. Why don't you let us help you with all the above services and many more at Business Takeoff Services. We have everything your business needs. feel privileged about this because I know when we started there were really like thousands of tens of thousands of people who applied for this and to have come to this stage is really something to be thankful for. Hopeful. I expect it to go well. Chika is an entrepreneur from the eastern part of Nigeria who started a foodstuff delivery business and now seeks to revolutionize local food processing and packaging. My name is Chika Okiji from Aquata.com Limited. I have an online foodstuff market based in Enugu, the southeastern part of Nigeria. So we basically, okay, the business name is named after a local market where you can actually buy things cheaper, but it's really muddy and crowded and most of the people in the town don't like going there. So what we do is we buy this and we deliver to them. Uh, customer base cuts across um, individuals, working class or the aged, bachelors, and then we have corporate um, bodies as well. We purchase for hotels. We do bulk buying and sharing for some corporate offices that they put money together the, to purchase things in bulk and share. The food processing industry in Nigeria is regulated by NAVDAQ and EFSA. It is valued at $10 billion and provides an estimate of 10 million jobs. Despite this, experts believe that attainable benefits have not been maximized as we are limited by logistics and storage issues. This has denied entrepreneurs exploration into niche opportunities and changing consumer trends that would translate into profit. In the course of our business, uh, with respect to the individual customers, over time it was no longer enough for them when we buy these things and bring to them. They wanted us to help with some preparatory services. They would say, maybe can you grind this for me, cut this for me, or peel that. And in doing that, we came up with some unique products that are not actually there, but they have commercial value. One of them is what I have here. There's a local dish there in the southeast, call it ofaoko. It's like a soup for eating rice. So now it's, it's really loved by many, but the process of cooking it is very tedious. It's from the palm fruit that you get the base, just like um, tomato for the tomato stew. The process of extracting the palm pulp, palm pulp is actually tedious. You have to wash, boil, pound, then sieve it through water and everything. So what we've done here is to do that, and freeze it and sell it. And in addition to that, there are some local spices that have not really been discovered, if I put it that way, but they make this, um, this soup very, very rich. It gives it the original taste that it's supposed to have. So what um, we've been selling, we've tried it. We have um, some very good reviews on Instagram. I put some of them together. Most of our sales have been from repeat patronage, those that bought it before. So what we're trying to do now is what we hope to achieve 
from this is if we could get some funds to scale up our production, both our services and the product. Um, we, our customer base is really limited. Well, the reason being that when the first influx of customers came in, we made some mistakes with our turnaround time. We don't have bulk that we are distributing, we go to buy. So it took a whole, a whole lot of time to deliver it to them. So we hope to, we wish to buy some, um, probably there's a minivan. It's a, the cost of delivering the goods to our customers is high and then they turn around time. So we are hoping to buy some delivery bikes and minivan. Then for this now, we, I want to get it into shops. I know this can sell in the supermarket. Is she pitching two businesses? Yes, but they are related. There's a food processing arm. That's how I, I, I refer to it. The business started as just the food, um, online food stuff market. But there's this um, other arm of it that processes some foods so that they are pot ready. We call it our pot ready range of products. Was that based on demand? Sir? Was that based on demand? On demand. It wasn't in the initial plan. It was in the course of business that we could take it a step further from just buying the food stuff to them to pre -process, uh, processing some of them to a pot ready version of some of them. And this is so unique because there's no competition for it. There's Let's talk no... about the achievement on the first one before they demanded for the second one. What was your turnover like annually? And, okay, we started last year. Turnover, we... Last year we did over... We did over five million. That's um, bank transactions, excluding the cash. If everything should be our nine million. But this year, we've done much more because we were able to sign one of the... We got a contract with one of the biggest hotels in Enugu, owned by the state government, Nike Lake Resort Hostel. And on a monthly basis, they sit five, five million on the transactions alone. So we charge fees to them. We are hoping we've not signed on more because the uh, cost of transporting what they buy to them really cuts into the fee they agreed to pay us. What did you do better that created an increase in profit? In changing or expanding our customer base. When we started, it was the focus was on in, on individuals who wanted um, to order for their food stuff from home without having to go to the market. Then the idea of purchasing for hotels came up, and we tried it. We've gotten one. Um, is more that was the first time. This is it's actually the only hotel we supplied to, now, and it's been good and profitable. So if we can actually reduce the cost of logistics. I expect that in the first year, I should be able to convince two more hotels to use us instead of using their staff or the suppliers they bring to them. How are you better? Like, why would they use you rather than just use their staff, their kitchen staff to go and buy? They found our, what we bought, the quality of what we bought, the cost of using us was actually cheaper. We gave um, realistic prices, which were cheaper than what they were used to having. They, a new management came in place, and that was actually why she was... Her, okay, one of her main targets was to cut costs for the hotel. So she brought us, or we, when we spoke to her, it was you know, like we came at the right time. Right, and So right she gave price. it a try, yes. She yeah. gave it a try and it worked for her. Yeah, so and about your other business, yes. what's your profit margin on that like? Like, do you make better profit from that or from the delivery? Okay, now, if this gets into shops, if I give enough visibility to this, this is going to, be, this is going to make more profit than the service business. It's a product that I, I know, I'm very sure that if I get it, okay, even I, I intend to start with the southeastern states. There are five of them, because the, the core dish that uses this is, is an indigenous food to that place. They will love it. Even as I was now outside, um, somebody from Anambra State in neighboring town, when she heard about this, she, I've had, I have, I've had to send to people in the next state about it. How many have you sold so far? We've sold over 700 tops, but it's been tedious. What is it called again? Palm fruit concentrates. What's the local name? Ofa Ako, Ako, the soup. The other soups is also used as soup thickener for those who doesn't want to put starch, like cocoa. Have you heard of that before? No. <laughs> I was actually about to say, so I, I, haven't, oh, no, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> but I, I have a quick question though. I wanted to just be, to get some clarity. Um, is it that you're selling foodstuffs to the hotel? 
But you're not selling this special dish. You're just selling foodstuffs. That's what you we provide to the hotel. We are purchasing foodstuffs for them. Yes. Procurement. You're saving them They're time, saving. essentially. And costs. Okay. And then this, where have you sold it? You said that it's you sold individual it. customers. Via Instagram. Instagram, um, WhatsApp, referrals, those that tried it. And, and you're saying that people do like it. and They love it. They, Actually, every booker in the local bookers, I mean, they sell this because that's, um, they are the ones that will take out time to process it. I have a customer who has a constant monthly, monthly request, as in it's like a, a standing order to bring forward. Did you see the zeal she's got when she's speaking about Ufaku? Is not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah than right. when she talks about the only about competition the in Nigeria so is a So for everyone's sake, Ghana. choose one business that you need support with. Looks like Chica has to make a big decision and she doesn't have much time. What's it gonna be? Now let's talk about this. What do you need to make this business go forward? Okay, I need to mechanize the process. I need to set up a mini factory in line with um, NAVDAC specifications. They are very expensive. So every other thing here now, we should disapprove this one. Which one, sir? You did your screening in Enugu with asking, during your screening process, you requested for Many van, you want to buy a mini van, tricycle yes. to deliver goods, you don't need delivery, that. all those ones is cancelled. Yeah, for the aquata uh, that's concept, that's the food purchase, the food store purchase. Now you want to go into what? Factory. Yes, I want to start this up, the mini factory. I can see your passion when you speak about this. And I understand from your economics background why it makes sense to do the logistics side. You understand, you understand that. But you've got to make a choice. Right? You've got to make a choice. For, the, for an investor. Okay, and I've, I've heard you, th this is the one. Yes, it's not a difficult yeah. one for me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because the other one is auto run right now. I don't actually have to be part of it. I could, the people have been working, like, just to, to purchase, that's what they do, yeah. and charge a delivery service. So this is That's my your main passion. Now. So just to, to clarify for you, that business you, is a huge risk because you have one client. With the hotels. One uh, corporate client, yeah. individual. Yeah, no, no, I understand that. But on the corporate side, one client is a risk. It makes you an employee. But if one client yeah. is giving you so much, uh, Owale, what do you think? Mm -hmm. And that one client is good enough. How many hotels have you identified in Enugu? And you, imagine if you get 10 more of those kind of people. You will yes. launch this product easily without any assistance. And they can give you refer. I, I mean, they can put in testimonials for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. How many hotels are, are there in Enugu, approximately? They're over three. Over 50? Yes. What are the efforts that you've... I have... Um, I've written the proposals. I've not gone to them. I know that they are going to come on board. I used it to perfect the process of how to, how to do this. We just started that order. We just got the contract with them. And it stabilized around July. Okay. The way it works, the dyna internal dynamics and finding a way that smoothens things out. Main challenge being uh, giving orders and funds to buy it and timeline time and, and, and everything. So now the other hotels, if I had gone to them right now, I wouldn't have been able to deliver best standard. Because it, you don't have the mechanism. You need the van. Yes. The van. Yeah. Initially we were understanding the process. I was taking my to understand it. Now is auto run. Actually we can have orders from them now and I'm here and it's to still be done. Now getting other hotels to come on board is the next step. Like I said, in the next, um, is it if we are growing by ourselves gradually, mm. we will be able to make enough money to buy the minivan. At least we have our own delivery system. Why don't you want that option to grow by yourself gradually? I'm glad you said that. This product, when I brought it out, is the first of its kind. I just have this feeling this that, product distracted that some you. of, no, I'm still doing that. There some are things other like person, that. There's to me in business. Some other person might start You know those ideas, Wally, that comes yes, into you and, and, and it distracts you. Know, distract you want. It. I still get requests for but this. But if, if this hotel gives you this uh, contract, like, like you have something going on with them, yes. and then you know your profit from what you're getting from them, yes. is it possible that you, you, uh, that you tell them to get you this van? Because I think that when you eventually get this van and, and it's not outsourced, it's going to be a big problem for you. You are going to deal with mechanics. So, so you are starting a different logistics business entirely, apart from what you, or apart from your core, core, core competence, which is procurement of their uh, food material, food items, and all that. So I, I just feel that you are about to complicate things. But I, but, I, but I believe in your product. Then 
than the other one. The judges just gave Chica a dose of reality. Will she still push for her new product or stick to her old business? Okay, so now let's conclude on that product because that's clearly what you need the assistance with now. List it out quickly because I have to get some advice. Okay. What? Okay, um, we need to mechanize the process, buy some equipment to help the extraction process. What are the equipment? Uh, the palm fruit extraction um, the, um, e e machine. Yeah. Which is how much? Yeah. Well, there's the option of locally fabricated how one much? and how the price. 550,000 for the locally fabricated one. What else? Yeah. We need um, to. We need the the factory itself now. A minimum of five room bungalows included on it, so on the space. And we need um, materials, the raw materials, the packaging materials, and basically to pay for So you know you have a total cost on that. You know yes. you so it's like how much is it? Five point four four fifty. Five point four fifty. How many do you need to produce to make that back? To make you have the five point four. 450 or how much are you asking? How many do you need to sell to make that in one year? Uh, we sell a tub at 500. And Don't worry, you did the math. Wait for us there and do the math. We'll call you back in. Chica has a few minutes to get her numbers right, then come back to face the judges. I believe in our first product somehow. You know, when you have worked so hard, then the door has started opening. Then there was, there is business distraction, eh? And there's this idea because somebody wanted to buy this. Can this just be on the sign? And I still look for more hotels. You know, there's some cut, there's some powerful words she made. Things that started going fine with this hotel. You know, and that's what an entrepreneur needs sometimes. What happened that turned everything around? Then push more on that that happened. And that's what You know what she said? She said she's afraid that uh, anybody can just start. That. that idea that, that she's got. Uh, yes. And it's unique so, and no and one's done yes. it. And the only one it. option they have is from Ghana. And then that does not taste nice as, as I Ghana. I totally get her passion for that. She loves that more than the yeah, delivery. Yes. But she came with the idea, with the request of a loan for this minivan. Yeah. So she just comes. And now you change this yeah. between the screen process need, now to the to this stage. You need land, something. you need equipment, you need more like what has happened on, on this program so many times, and that's the things that entrepreneurs first understand. It's when you come with your request, be clear about it, and stand with it. Yeah, definitely. The moment you do it like this, then it makes things difficult for us. What I would want to offer is, are we in agreement, you know, that she should get supported? I'm in agreement. What I would want to do first is I'd like a seasoned business person, a mentor, to go in and have a look at that product with her, you know, so nobody has to physically go there, but to work through the numbers, to help her with the research, so can she really sell that product in enough bulk to yeah, cover that, it? Uh, that's you what I'm about to say, yeah. that if she can, how many, uh, she said she, she sold 700. 700, so if she can get to sell maybe about, uh, uh, in a quarter, do about 2,000. I, I guess I believe so much in the product than, than the other service. I'm also more interested in this, I don't know why, but I just am. And she also said she makes more money from it, right? So it's a better margin for her. She doesn't need a van for it. She can send it out on a motorbike, you know, like, yeah. but, I don't know. And, I, and, and she can make it at home and start now. So if I get you clearly, you in for the product, you in for the product as well. But you're not in for investing the 5.4 million into it. No, if no, she I, does not need the fight. She but need I mean, okay, I that's what you're saying. And you in for the investing the 1.4 in the initial service. I'm, I'm in for investing in her. Now we can decide on which one it would be. And you in for yeah. investing in what? So, so I, I want somebody to go and do the numbers and everything with her. Because what do I know about entrepreneurs? As you know, doesn't matter what we do, she's going to go with what she wants to. Yeah. That's the reality. Yeah. I need to sell 10,800 tops of this to get 5.4 million in a year. That's correct. As profit? No. Gross. It's in the revenue. You asked how many of these do I need to sell to make that in a year? How will be your profit from that? 
it um, based no. on the no they currently it has 70 percent return on the money Chica. really yes but it's been man manually Chica. done yes sir so many entrepreneurs have been on that platform and one of the one of their main goal is to try and get all the judges to unite in the form of assistance they want to get. In your case, because you are not even sure on which one you are going for, even on our side, there are some on this side and some on that side. And the easiest decision that AYA makes is to get all the judges to agree so that we don't make a mistake in investing in an African entrepreneur. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. For now, we won't be able to make financial support to you. Okay. Thank you for coming. As it turns out, this is not a lucky day for Chica. Pitching for only one business might have worked better with the judges. For now, she goes home with no investment or business funding from AYE. My experience with the judges did not go as I expected. I was not able to convince them that the two arms of business can function together. So My name is Akibola Ifeoloa. The name of my business is Blessed City on Kitchen and Services. <laughs> Ifeo Luwa is a young entrepreneur who runs a catering service company. During her presentation, the judges were impressed by her signature sauce and passion for cooking. But the fish is fine, the chips are fine, everything's fine. The sauce is fantastic. I think she should not have the support if she doesn't get a partner, because she can't mm. talk about herself. I think she's trying to get me to have this for dinner. <laughs> okay. However, she wasn't quite articulate in her marketing. And so, Tia had to step in to show the young Petra how best to market her business. I, I want to show her how to present herself. Hey, I'm Deborah, and I make the best appetizers in Lagos. You haven't discovered it yet. I'm an undiscovered treasure. When people eat my food, they're going to discover that when I cook it, it is filled with happiness. Wow. And when people come to your event, they are going to get filled with happiness because the taste is going to melt in their mouth and it is going to make them euphoric. Wow. And I tell you now, <laughs> everybody... She seeks business funding to purchase equipment in order to provide catering services on a larger scale. After deliberations, the judges came to a conclusion that she would do better with more demand for her service and she was awarded two top catering contracts and a business mentor. AYU will give you a lot of customers. You cater for them and will give you money up front. You'll be able to buy all your equipment. Thank you very much. Rotimi Ayodeji is a skilled woodcraft artist who makes fashion accessories using wood and local fabrics. The judges were impressed by his designs and creativity. He seeks business mentorship and possible investment to help him grow his business to reach the international market. My phone number is 080-6461-2283. I'll take that again, 080-6461-2283. Two two eight three, and we are uh, the business name is Rabbi Craft, and we are into wooden clutch purses, wooden handbags, and wooden fashion accessories. After the judges' deliberations, Rotimi was given the opportunity to advertise his products on the show. 
while some of the judges bought his products on the spot. <laughs> Next on Africa's Young Entrepreneurs. I have something to say. I do think you need to check out about soy. No, 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 no. I'm coming. Number one, look at me. I okay. take soya beans. I have three children. I'm still looking like this. That is the evidence of these days. People like to look young, younger than their age. Even nobody likes to become old or be fat. But soya beans help you to watch your weight. How do you do that? I do that by soya beans. That's a secret. That's your secret. Okay.